Hey everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Things are good here. Uh, starting to warm up in LA here and it's like, I think today's supposed to be in the hundreds. This weekend is just like, it's too hot to even like really do anything except maybe hit up a couple yard sales or something like that. Man, this lighting is really good. Uh, it's taking the shadows under my eyes. Okay. Anyway, so we got another taste testing video today and I have been, I'm really excited about this because, um, you know, I tried to order these uh, these Kit Kats from Japan. These different flavored Kit Kats they had. It was like wasabi, apple pie, uh, strawberry, and a, like a few other like really crazy flavors that we do not have here. But I was at the I was at Walmart, the Walmart. I was at Walmart. Um, I think last week or the week before, and I happened to pick up the limited edition apple pie Kit Kat, uh, made in the USA. Very, I guess it's the same one that they have in Japan. I don't really know. I'm not going to complain. All I know is that I found it and yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm really excited about it. So I have been, because I've been looking all over for this place. As you know, in the last video or the, yeah, the last taste testing video, we did, we did the birthday cake ones, which were just, eh, they weren't really that great. So I'm really, I'm really hopeful on this one just because apple pie Kit Kat sounds really good I, although I don't know about that the white chocolate around it I, I don't really know I'm kind of eerie about that but I think they could have done I don't know they could have done like a chocolate apple pie that would have been like <laughs> okay so let's check let's see what else we got okay because we got some limited okay um, I picked this up a couple days ago it, it's just taken me about two weeks to pick up all this stuff and like I'm really glad I waited to do this video so this is Lay's Chili Relleno. This is one of their flavor icons. It's one of their, um, you know, the promo items that they're, um, they choose a flavor type thing. Ends 9-10-2020. I picked this up at like a 7-Eleven or something. I'm really excited about this because I love Chili Relleno. Um, same visit to that 7-Eleven, I picked up Doritos Limited Time Ultimate Cheddar. Sounds amazing, I know, I know, I know. I know, it sounds freaking amazing. I bet it tastes even amazing because Lay's does some put it. Lay's does some pretty good limited time flavors, and I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I picked this up at the grocery outlet. The grocery outlet. <laughs> this is um, new. This is new corn nuts crunch mix buffalo ranch snack mix. Uh, it's got corn sticks, corn puffs, corn nuts, and corn chips. A bag full of corn. I'm really excited about this. Corn Nuts has some really good flavored uh, products. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is kind of cool. I picked this up at Grocery Outlet as well. No peeking. Planters Grey Poupon. It's new, obviously. Planters Grey Poupon Dijon Mustard flavored mixed nuts. Roasted mixed nuts. I love mustard. I love honey Dijon. That's like, oh, I, I have fond memories of it growing up. Not like in the countryside or anything like that, you know. Eating my grape poupon in the countryside. And this, this next one, which is kind of cool. I picked this up at the grocery outlet too. The grocery outlet. This is uh, Terra Plantains Chili Lime made with coconut oil. It sounds freaking amazing. I don't, I don't know about you, but it sounds muy bueno um, so like I said it's taken me like two weeks to two weeks just to do all the just to find all these and just to like every time I get some every time I find these at the stores I'm like I grab them just because I'm like you know what this would be a great video so let's, the first product I'm going to try is the Chili Reno Lays just because I love Chili Reno and I love Lays and I love potato chips so ooh. So it tastes like a, tastes like chili cheese, potato chips. I don't, I don't really know. Let's look at it. Okay, it's got some good flavor, like flavors on there. Hmm. Hmm. I 
know where Lazy was going with this. It tastes just like, you know those pot potato au gratin like boxes and you cook the potatoes and like the, it's, it's like a cheesy potatoes basically. It doesn't taste like chili reno. You get like a hint of a hint of heat, but that's it. It's not like well, chili reno doesn't really isn't really hot anyway. Mm. Oh, chili reno seasoning. That's why. Mm. I don't know where that heat's coming from, because chili reno is not supposed to be hot. I wouldn't get it. Pass. Nice try though, Lace. I'll, I'll commend them. I'll commend you for that. So since we got it at the same shop, we got to do the Doritos Ultimate Cheddar. I'm hopeful on this. Ooh, smoke. Like cheese times two. It's like you get that, you have this like pungent cheese taste. It's like, um, it's like double cheese. <laughs> it almost tastes like, um, if you can remember Doritos Monterey Jack cheese, kind of tastes like that. Mm. Oh yeah, it's got Monterey Jack cheese. This is very good. If you like Monterey Jack, Doritos Monterey Jack cheese, if you remember those, try them. Because it'll kind of like, kind of um, make you think about the Monterey Jack cheese. Mm. Mm, okay. I'm not trying to eat too much because I don't want to get full off of snacks. I haven't even had lunch yet. Let's just go to it. I know you all are thinking this. Apple pie, Kit Kat. Oh God, limited time. Even got the Kit Kat on there. Oh. Mm. Tastes like apple pie in a Kit Kat. <laughs> well, not like your diner apple pie. Okay, we got a little more hint of apple. It's different. I wouldn't say it's my favorite uh, Twix. I'm still a fan of like the just the regular Twix. But it's interesting. I mean, I've never had uh, apple pie Twix before, and or Kit Kat. Oh my god, they should make an apple pie Twix. I love Twix, uh, but I love Kit Kat. I love the original Kit Kat though. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say this. This is not better than the original Kit Kat, but it's not bad. For like a limited edition flavor. Right, let's move on to Corn Nuts Crunch Mix. Buffalo Ranch. I love doing I love snacks. You all know me. Hope you guys are doing good. I mean, hopefully we don't get locked down again, you know? Uh, hoping not. It smells like buffalo y. It, it smells like vinegar. I still got two more things to try. Oh, oh crap. Okay, okay. This is, mmm, mmm, all right, mm, never mind. I 
It tastes like... Oh. It doesn't even taste like Buffalo Ranch. At first it did, and then it just started tasting like straight up... Uh, like just straight up chili. Like not spicy chili, just like a little bit of spice, but... You know, like Arbol chili or, or not Arbol chili, but the uh, the California chilies or like uh, like the red chilies. You know what I mean? The ones, the big dried ones you see in the pack in the supermarkets. In the, in the, I don't know. What were you thinking, man? Oh my god. Sorry about that. Do me a favor. Just do me a favor. Do me a favor, please. Save your money on these. They're not that, you know, not that great. I don't recommend them at all. Next, we're doing the Grey Poupon. Hunters. I love Grey Poupon so much. Let's shake it up too, man, because I have a feeling if I shake up some of these bags, they might actually taste a little bit better. Because, you know, all that, the seasoning, like, falls to the bottom or something. Oh, there we go. I thought I, I, thought I was going to have to go grab the scissors. I got to grab the scissors. Sorry, guys. Man, I'm kind of disappointed in most of these so far. Anyway, whatever. Smells like mustard mixed nuts. It could be helpful. I gotta make this video under 15 minutes. So, well, you got some good flavor looking, com looking flavor on the nuts. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's like, like a mustard nut. I wouldn't, um... Got a little pecan. Um... At first, the... The taste is a little weird. But then it's kind of got, like, a good aftertaste. It's just got this weird, um, it, it's got this weird, like a mustard type of funk, I don't know, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not something I would go and get it, just go out of my way to get, you know, but I mean, it's, it is what it is, it, it's not bad, it's only 99 cents a bag. In fact, most of these things I got were only about two dollars tops. Most of them were only ninety nine cents. Like these planters, grape coupon, grocery outlet, ninety nine cents. All right, let's move on to the Terra Plantains chili lime. I'm being hopeful about these. Come on. Okay, these were a dollar forty nine at grocery outlet. I grocery outlet. They're decent. I like I like their selection. And they got funky stuff like this and this and this. So okay, there's a lot of spice on these. Fried in coconut oil, so I guess it's that much better for you, right? Oh. 
it's not that good. You can't taste anything. You can't even taste like the ch you can barely taste the plantains. If they had added a bit more sugar, like just a bit of sugar, just to kind of counterbalance that salt, and maybe added more lime seasoning, it would have tasted better. Or lemon. Mm. Save your money. But you know, Terra does make some pretty good chips. But, um, so, I have other things to try, but I'm gonna, I'm only gonna limit it to the, these items that I tried today. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, remember to keep cool, stay sane, uh, do something for yourself every day. You know, even if it's just cooking your favorite food or like watching a TV, an episode of a TV show that makes you feel good or having a beer or something, um, you know, just, just, you owe it to yourself, okay? Until the next video. If you have any other suggestions on stuff to try, or if you want to send me stuff to try, and I'll, I'll include your name in the link, or I'll include your name in the video or something, let me know, okay? All right, thanks everybody. Have a good day. Stay cool. All right, bye.